What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about Deshaun Watson, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for continuing to tune into the channel. Uh, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Utah Sports. If you would like to uh, donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Utah Sports. And if you would like to be a part of my Utah Sports membership, you can hit the join tab uh, here on my channel as well. But with that being said, um, let's jump right into the video. So I do kind of want to give my two cents uh, on this whole Deshaun Watson uh, fiasco. If you haven't heard already, NFL breaking news, uh, Deshaun Watson has uh, been traded to the Cleveland Browns. Um, this whole fiasco has been crazy. Personally, uh, going into this whole Deshaun Watson trade talks, I wasn't uh, happy with the Atlanta Falcons as an organization. Um looking to sign or trade for a guy like Deshaun Watson because I felt like the organization and the Falcons were putting themselves in a lose-lose situation. And it turns out that we basically got the worst end of this deal, uh, being that Deshaun Watson decided to uh, go to the Cleveland Browns and has been traded to the Cleveland Browns. Um, I felt like we were putting ourselves in a lose-lose situation because now you basically – uh, neglected Matt Ryan. You made Matt Ryan feel a certain type of way and he's been rubbed the wrong way. Uh, so now he possibly will still demand a trade and not want to be uh, the Atlanta Falcons starting quarterback any, uh, anymore because basically now he feels like, um, you know, he isn't wanted uh, as the Atlanta Falcons quarterback anymore as the franchise guy. And I felt like they were putting themselves in a lose-lose situation because it was no guarantee uh, that you were going to get a guy like Deshaun Watson. And, you know, Lord behold, it played out the way that I thought it could possibly turn out where the Falcons are left holding the bag, uh, per se, where now the Falcons, um, you know, went all in on a quarterback that was, you know, basically being traded. And now he decided not to choose you as the team that he wanted to go with. So now Matt Ryan is sitting there. Yeah, he's still signed by our team. But at this point, you know, it's the elephants in the room at this point. And now you, the, I feel like the Falcons now possibly have to move on from Matt Ryan. I don't think it's a way that you can move forward uh, with Matt Ryan as the starting quarterback unless Matt Ryan decides that he still wants to stay in Atlanta. But I don't see a way at this point where you can convince Matt Ryan that, you know, we believe we can win with you. We believe that you're still uh, the franchise guy because they, you know, they flirted so much with this Deshaun Watson situation. They allowed Deshaun Watson basically to hold um, four different franchises or three to four different franchises hostage. Um, I do think in this situation, I blame the media as well. Um, this goes back to what I say about uh, media manipulation. I do believe that the media um, was manipulating uh, the Falcons fan base and all of the different fan bases uh, that were. Uh, hoping that their team lands Deshaun Watson in this trade talk. Um, if you guys remember about a day or so ago, they were saying that the Cleveland Browns and the Carolina Panthers uh, were out in the two teams that Deshaun Watson was going to sign with was either the Falcons or the Saints. And then, Lord behold, today, when the news drops, the Cleveland Browns is the team that he decides to, you know, He's he decides to join. So this just goes back to uh, to what we always state and what I always state. If you watch my live show um, on Wednesday night, um, we the heavy hitter show, we talked about um, Deshaun Watson uh, possibly um, not signing with the Falcons. And then basically we will be left in this situation that we're currently in. So I feel like this whole situation is just a mess. And this is why we always state here on my channel. And when we were doing our live show on the heavy hitter show, we stated that we don't know, um, you know, what was going to happen as many as many times as these people or these media people state that they have inside information. Um, evidently, even with their inside information, they were wrong in this situation because they convinced uh, the Atlanta Falcons fan base. They convinced the New Orleans Saints fan base uh, that Deshaun Watson was going to sign with one of those two franchises. And they convinced everybody that 
He basically had decided that he wasn't going to join the Carolina Panthers or join the Cleveland Browns. And this is all why we always say that we don't know uh, what's going to happen because anything is possible. And basically, I feel like the Falcons set up uh, the fans to be disappointed. They set themselves up for disappointment and they put themselves in a bad situation uh, when it comes to the starting quarterback that we have with Matt Ryan. At this point, I don't see how you move forward uh, with Matt Ryan as your starting quarterback or as your franchise guy. Do I still believe in Matt Ryan? Yes. But I feel like at this point, Matt Ryan didn't deserve uh, he didn't deserve what happened to him as far as how this whole situation uh, played out. And I feel like this is why I always say that the grass is a greener on the other side all the time. And when you put yourself at, you know, in this situation and put yourself at risk for no reason. Now, you know, we're left holding the bag and now we're basically left with a disgruntled quarterback. And now this whole organization right now is a whole bunch of dysfunction. So I just feel like this whole situation looks bad for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, hopefully Matt Ryan um, we able to find a, a trading partner for Matt Ryan. If Matt Ryan decides that he still wants to be here, you know, maybe the Falcons luck up where he still wants to be here. But if I'm Matt Ryan, I don't see any way that the Falcons can try to moonwalk and walk this thing back because you basically went all in in these trade talks with Deshaun Watson. So at this point, you're probably going to have to move off of Matt Ryan and basically start the rebuilding process of possibly drafting a quarterback like a Malik Willis in this draft or possibly Kenny Pickett or whichever quarterback you like in this draft. But I don't see how you move on with Matt Ryan. But this whole situation is just a complete mess. I'm very disappointed, embarrassed uh, for the fan base and embarrassed for uh, the front office. They made itself look really bad in this situation. And basically, I feel bad for Matt Ryan in this whole situation of how it's played out. But with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the video. I have a lot more uh, content coming for you guys. As always, Falcon Station, rise up. Peace.